Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in our World of Flowers on Wooden Shelf series. We only have a few left to go, but we've got this fun little one. Look at these cute little flowers we've got to do on this one. So let's get started. I am going to choose a pink um, for our flowers and uh, go from there really. I think I'm going to actually start with this little one. This is the, I'm just going to find for you, Pink Madder Lake. And what I want to do is make this look a bit like it's sort of a fluffy, liney flower, like this. <laughs> I can't describe it, but like that. So there's sort of all sorts of lines coming out of the centre. I hope you can see. Sorry, my big hand's probably in the way. But I'm just doing sort of lines like that. And I am going to use a darker colour pink, the um, fuchsia pink as well, to do some additional lines, particularly near the middle where it would be a bit darker. Like that, I think that's quite fun. Now we have um, the leaves. Mm, now with this sort of shade of pink, I think we can get away with pretty much any shade of leaf really but I'm going to go with this one this is the permanent green can you even see not sure I'm going to give this a sharpen I remembered my sharpener there we go this doesn't need to be massively sharp and I'm going to do the base of each one with this one and if I use this movement the sort of flick, it fades the uh, pencil as it goes towards the end of the leaf and for the very end of the leaf I think I'm going to use this one which is the light green, oh you can see that I think, I hope so and I'm going to do the opposite there with them um, making it darker on the tip I think it's a nice warm green. I'm trying to make sure I get some colour down because it's quite pale. It, it takes a bit of application. There we go. Right and now we have our pot to do. Now we have um, these what looks like flowers on the pot. But I don't want to do those in pink. I want to keep all the pots blue. That's been our thing throughout. I don't want to suddenly change now. So I'm going to pick a blue colour for those and then a different colour for the rest of the pot. And I'm thinking we want to make a contrast. We either want those really light and the pot really dark or the other way around. Now this pot's light so let's make the flowers light and the pot dark. Um, uh, yeah, I grab this one. This is the sky blue and we'll do it with these. Goodness, our sky isn't blue today. It's really cloudy. It's uh, It was sunny earlier and it's gone over very dark. So if it wants to pour with rain, maybe it does. But hey, I'm lucky I'm inside. I guess other people may not be so lucky. Right, I'm going to go quite dark for the next bit. So I'm going to go with the cobalt, sorry, you can't see, cobalt blue greenish. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to do that a bit and the feet in a different colour to the main pot. And I think I will, because most of our pots have a mix of colour. I think it will be better. So I'm actually going to do this bit first, because it's actually going to be more complicated, because we've got to try and work around these uh, these circles. We don't want to go over the top of them and make them darker blue. So I'm going to put a nice dark layer on this edge and then I want to slowly fade it towards the middle. So do less layers. But I need to get around those dots all the way around them without touching them. Which is tricky, especially for someone like me who's prone to going out of the lines all the time. I'm just going to try my best. That's all I can do. And you can do it better than me if you want. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are better at staying in the lines than I am. I don't know why I'm not very good. I don't know if I'm um, too quick or if I just can't see very well or quite what it is. But uh, I don't worry about it. 
colouring is supposed to be relaxing, not stressful. That isn't really showing up that well, is it? Might have been better with a different blue. I think what we'll do is put another blue on top of them in a minute, make them stand out a bit more. Just looks a bit like a wishy washy grey, doesn't it? As much as I like that colour, it's just not working in this context. So I'm trying to leave a bit of a pale bit in the middle, but I'm actually going to erase a bit. I'm going to use my little Tombow. I just want to take that bit away. There we go. And I really want my edges to be a bit darker. So I'm actually going to grab a darker blue. I'm going to grab this one. This is the Indanthrene blue. And just go over those edges. Gosh, I was having a giggle this morning to myself and sharing um, with a friend online. My husband asked me if I had any coloured pencils that he could try out. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't have coloured pencils. I'm going to use this um, light cobalt turquoise. Oh, there you can see now. And uh, go over these, um, try and brighten them up a bit. So... Uh, He's got a book, a new book, where you have to, um, it's sort of art exercises and colouring in the book. So I had a feel of the paper to decide what type of pencils I thought was best. Now the paper, what I'm going to do is use this colour. Mm, no, I'm going to use the sky blue for the top and bottom and hopefully it will just bring out that lighter colour a little bit. Um, so you have to draw in the book. So I had a feel of the book and felt how what the tooth was like on the paper and picked him some pencils. Now he does have Stedler Ergosofts um, himself but um, I thought that a softer pencil might suit. Don't worry about that banging it's just my dishwasher makes the water pipes bang. Um, I thought it might be um, better to um, have some softer ones. So I got him six tins and about eight open stock pencils all different brands yeah he was a bit overwhelmed but he's going to try them so uh, it was quite funny though that he uh, and i was thinking to myself that isn't even half of the types of pencils that i've got <laughs> but hey ho it was quite funny but i hope that's okay it's a bit of a different pot the feet are quite pale um, I did just want to hope that the paler colours on the top and bottom would make those stand out a little bit more. I think they do, but if you want your feet to be a little bit darker, you could always use a bit of the other blues in there to darken them up a bit. But I'm going to leave it like that. Now, this was a quick video today, but that is going to be it. I am... Um, I'm needing to make some quicker afternoon videos just because my time is a little short but I want to treat you and I do enjoy making them so uh, so there we go we'll do the next pot tomorrow and uh, rather than doing them as a pair which I had considered but would split it into two it will just make the series last a bit longer so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and happy colouring <laughs>